on. Very cool. Uh, joining us soon is Miss Stephanie Murphy. As she comes into the hot tub, the hot tub of joy. <laughs> there she is, this is Stephanie Murphy. <laughs> Doing a live interview here from the hot tub at Coins in the Kingdom. Hello. Stephanie, of course, from uh, Let's Talk Bitcoin. Yes. Uh, free Talk Live, voiceover extraordinaire, etc., etc. So let's do the same question. Let's move on here. Um, Why do you have clothes on? Well, I wanted to do my interview the way I've Are always done my interview. Are you trying interviews. to be professional or something? Of course. Isn't this not professional? you got to have clothes on. I'm a professional journalist. How do we get people to stop hoarding? I think hoarding is a, just a pejorative term for saving. I don't think it's bad or necessary to stop. There you go. A common answer we've heard today. Oh, have other people said that? Of course. This is Bitcoin. Oh. And, and it's also a bunch of, uh, you know, voluntarists. If you could say one thing to Mark Carpellis, what would it be? Oh, <laughs> you know, my mom said, uh, if you don't have anything nice to say, you shouldn't say anything at all, so. That means f you. <laughs> Here's my card. Brian, I'll what? give you one too. Oh my. Ooh, floppy. Uh, Thank you. Watch yeah. my bit. Watch my watch bit. My bit. Watch my bit. And I got a t-shirt that says, watch my bit. My, watch my bits up here and watch <laughs> my bits. <laughs> back there. That's some good marketing. I know. Did you ask Davi Barker what he thinks about that branding? I'm going to because I saw his branding thing. I've got that See? shirt right there. Okay. What do I do with this sopping business card? What I do you mean? mean? It's a very valuable business it, contact. It is, but it's going to disintegrate in a few minutes. Come on. All right. It's an oversight. Please. Like, you can't hold me responsible we'll dry for Try it out in the moonlight. Okay. All right. How's my audio? I guess it, not so bad. Okay. <laughs> okay. I, you know, I'll edit that out, obviously. <laughs> Does the Bitcoin Foundation add value? No. Did Charlie Shrem get a bad deal? Yeah, he, he took a bad deal. I mean, the poor guy, he, right. yeah, he, got, he got a bad deal. It was sad to see him say, basically, that I did something I'm wrong. I'm guilty. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I mean, you know, I understand why he did it, because, you know, when you're facing that much jail time, it's really scary, sure. and he's a young guy, and, I mean, I maybe I would do the same thing if it were me, but yeah. it's just sad to, to see, you know, him say, I did something wrong, you know? Morally, he did nothing wrong. No, All it's right? true. Legally, I said it before. <laughs> so, what secret can you tell us about your Bitcoin project that no one knows about yet? Either one of you? Oh my gosh. Either. Oh. Wouldn't you Did like I to mention know? I'm an ambush journalist? <laughs> <laughs> Doug Scribner, ambush journalist. Look at me in my hot tub. Of course I'm an ambush journalist. I'll go anywhere for the story. Brian, you could tell us something about your game. Uh, sure, yeah, uh, my game is 16-bit, but it's going to have tons of sex in it. Figure that one out. <laughs> wow. wow. <laughs> is that a reference to size? <laughs> I don't know. He's got the biggest blockchain around. Ooh. <laughs> Will Sex and Science Hour come back to Let's Talk Bitcoin? Yeah, we want to have it come back. We're just, we're so busy right now because I'm working on three audiobooks. One of them is the Book of Satoshi, which is all Satoshi's words. Ooh. So you can hear me reading Satoshi. And who knows, maybe it's actually Satoshi. Oh, I never even thought about that before. <laughs> That's Andreas' line, I still Okay, all right. Hey, I got a joke for you. Yeah? Knock, knock. Who's there? Satoshi. Satoshi who? <laughs> Cute. Yeah, I love it. I know. A company I never computer. told you my secret about my new Bitcoin business. Yeah. I'm going to be selling my panties online for Bitcoin. Oh my God. <laughs> That's it right there. That online not true. <laughs> <laughs> what non-currency blockchain technology do you think is going to gain traction next? Non-currency blockchain technology. Hmm. Non-currency <laughs> service. Uh, it's going to be IBM's Adept. Uh, it is non-currency, but it's designed to secure and make uh, solve the cloud storage problem of Internet of Things home appliance. <laughs> well, this is the thing where your light bulbs and your door handle and your your lock on your door and your water and your electricity and, and your, your heat toaster and your toaster and your dishwasher are all connected to the Internet. And there was some executive that came out recently and said, wouldn't it be great if we could just turn off your water? No. Oh. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if we could just unlock your door? We didn't have to kick it down. Oh. It's a feature. It's a feature, not, not a bug. bug. Right. Yeah. Right. right. Why do you hate fat people? <laughs> I love because that. they take up too much room in the pool. Hey, displacement. <laughs> okay, that's very good. What do you see as uh, barriers to adoption for Bitcoin? Well, you should always use barriers. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um. I'm getting out of this pool right now. <laughs> 
I think the barriers to adoption. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, no barriers here, folks. My shirt. <laughs> My beautiful shirt. <laughs> yeah, I mean, barriers to adoption. So a lot of people, when they talk about Bitcoin to new new people, they, they get really technical. And I don't blame them because it's really exciting from a technical viewpoint. Oh, yeah. We're like, oh, you never believe how this works. Blah, 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 protocol, blah, 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 256 encryption. Yeah, but I mean, if you have an elevator pitch and if you just say it in a really quick way, like, hey, this is a way to send an unlimited amount of money through the internet instantly without paying any fees or government forms. Like, that's cool. Right? Absolutely. That's I like that. That's an elevator pitch. Wait a minute. <laughs> that's a hot tub pitch. Yes. <laughs> there it is, Hot folks. tub pitch. <laughs> okay, I have a question for you. What protocol does do Visa and MasterCard use to send data over their terminals to their central locations? I don't know. <laughs> do you need to know? No. <laughs> <laughs> you see, people, you see, who the hell cares what protocol Visa Matt? You don't care. You just want to know that you've got a target. Your, your data's not going to be stolen. That's a great point. Yeah. What was your dumbest Bitcoin trade? You know, I, I actually can't think of a, a dumb one, but I can tell you a, a smart one. Oh, that's another next question. Sure. Okay, so I... I had, I got, I received 10 Bitcoins as a tip on my podcast. Whoa. Back in 2012, I want to say. Okay. They were worth about 10 bucks, something like that. Oh. And I was like, you know, I need a new power strip for my studio. I could go on one of these websites and I could get a power strip for 10 Bitcoins. Or I could, you know, hold on to it. And uh, I, I ended up taking some of that and turning it into Litecoin when Litecoin was like worth five cents each. And then Whoa. Litecoin went up to $50 and I had Did it. you sell it at? <laughs> What you Some of it I sold at 50 bucks, yeah. That is a shrewd investor. <laughs> Warren Buffett's got nothing on this hot tub, hot tub investor here. That's right. <laughs> what credible altcoin could give Bitcoin some competition? Well, you know, I want to say actually to dovetail off what you just said, mm -hmm. you know, about opportunity, it's important to remember in life that not every opportunity is for you. Uh, I mean, sometimes opportunity, you know, it's for some and not for others. And so that's where altcoins might come in. I mean, this is a new technology. It's got a long way to go. Uh, mm -hmm. And for me, I'd have to say right now, it looks like NXT as far as blockchain. Mm -hmm. We're about to get kicked out of here by the thugs at Walt Disney World. <laughs> Let's see how much violence they employ to, make, to, to force us to, to, to bend to their will of getting out of their private property, which we should have the right to. I guess my argument kind of breaks down. At some point. I think all they're yeah, going to have to do is ask. Yeah. <laughs> right. You know, I think we did a pretty good Your job here. Your questions are getting a little steamy too. Oh. oh. <laughs> You're like Hugh Hefner, like just jumping in with the plate with the uh, bunny. Brian's like, totally a bunny. I, would, I, I am a bunny. <laughs> Brian is a it's bunny. It's true. I'm a bunny. I would like an ear. Oh, there's some ears for yeah. you. I want a pipe. You know, <laughs> like a Hugh pipe. Where's my robe? Somebody find me my robe, please. <laughs> Someone get Doug a robe. Where, where are my production assistants? Damn it, this job is terrible. <laughs> Watch my bit. Yeah, what's, watch my bit. Yeah. 10,000 views on YouTube. And you know how much you get? 50 to 100 bucks for 10,000 views. Peanuts. And that's if they watch the full ads. It's a scam. It's a proprietary Total formula. Scam. No one knows. So on our platform, we send at least 75% of all the income to content creators. That's way better. All right, guys, gals, I'm getting out. All Your right. hot tub is never safe from Doug. <laughs> oh! Woohoo!